everyone. Today I'm going to go over my experience taking the CSENT Part 1 exam, uh, version 100.105, which I believe is version 3, which is the newest implementation of it. Um, starting August 28th of this past year, you have to take that version. Um, so I'm just going to outline some things I'm going to cover, the topics the exam covered, format the exam, materials I use, thoughts, and some questions. So these are the five sections and their weight that they're going to test you on. And if you go over to, if you just type in CSET and Google, go to the second link, learningnetwork.cisco.com, uh, exam topics. It's going to list all the exam topics here. And you want to know all of them, every single one. They're not going to test you on every single one but they're gonna they have the right to pick what they want to test you on so if you only study half of these and they pick the questions from the half you didn't study then you're screwed so you just gotta know everything um so just go through these and make sure you have a good understanding of all all of them one thing i want to point out that i made a mistake on so right here uh configure verify vlans access ports data and voice i neglected voice thinking i was thinking they're not going to ask me questions on voice because this is routing and switching and uh they have a completely different exam for voice over ip so i i didn't think they would ask me questions about that well i had three questions about voice and i had no idea so i just had a guess so make sure you, when they say these are the topics that are going to be covered they're not lying so you need to know all of them um, this is the, there's seven different types of questions on the exam, and these are them. Um, so I'll show you, they have a great resource. If you just type in CSUN again on Google, go to this first link, cisco.com, and then click on the exam here, and then exam tutorial, click on that. Uh, if it doesn't show up, just right click and hit play. So this is the exam. This is exactly what the exam is going to look like. So just I'll include this link in the description. But these are the seven types of questions we'll have. And they'll show this tutorial on the exam before you start. And it won't, uh, it won't count against your exam time, so don't worry about it. And they'll have it here. But this is exactly what the exam for. Just go ahead and go through that. Um, some materials I used to study. Uh, one of the biggest one was Udemy. If you just type in CCNA. Uh, the second one right here by Chris Bryant. This is the one I took. It's 14 bucks right now, usually 20 It's very cheap for how much content you get. It's for CCNA, but he breaks it up between part one and part two. It just great stuff he covers most of what you need not everything but most of it and he goes more in depth than he has to and you'll learn some real world stuff from him so i highly recommend that another one was free ccna study guide.com so they kind of break it up into uh sections too so you just go ahead and read through the chapters uh, another thing i did was shop.certificationkits.com I actually bought one of these kits, I believe this one. Um, there's free softwares out there like G GSN3 and Packet Tracer. I've used Packet Tracer, but I wasn't a big fan of it. So I think it's always better to get your hands on uh, some hardware. And $500 investment isn't going to be bad because when you get certified, you're going to get a bigger return than what you put in. So it's definitely a good investment. Um, definitely use more than one resource though, because not every person is going to cover every topic. So you want to get your sources for multiple things. Uh, my overall thoughts, think about the exam is there's a thousand questions you have to know, but they're only going to test you on 50 to 60. Um, so you could study 900 questions, but if they test you on the hundred that you didn't study, you're screwed. So that's why you have to know all of them. Um, and the difficulty wasn't bad, but it felt weird taking it because 
when you're finished with the exam, you felt like you studied so much, you put so much work into it, but they only quiz you on 50 of those thousand questions you studied, so you just feel like, it was just a weird feeling taking it, but it wasn't difficult. I, I thought it was moderate. Uh, my previous experience with networking was very minuscule. I had an idea. I never, I'm a college student, so I didn't know too much going in hand. So I kind of went from no knowledge to learning and passing the exam. So it's definitely doable. Um, some frequent, frequently asked questions. Will iOS help be available during the exam? Yes, to a certain extent. When you have any questions with router configuration, um, they'll let you access sh show commands that you're going to need. So you won't waste time going through a bunch of ones you don't need. They're only going to give you ones that you do need. So yeah, it is available to you. Are there configurations? On my exam, I had no, I didn't have to configure anything. Everything was configured for me and it was all looking at the configuration and troubleshooting it. I, I only use show commands. I don't know if it's like that for all exams, but that was my experience. Is there enough time to complete the exam? Yeah, I had about 35 minutes left. Uh, can you go back and review your answers? No, you cannot. So when you answer, make sure you that's your final answer because you're not going to be able to go back. When will you find out your score? As soon as you're done, it'll tell you if you passed or failed. And they'll print out a sheet of each of these sections and what percent you got on it. So, like, routing fundamentals, I got 100% on that section. So, they'll print that out. And it'll tell you if you pass, but Cisco still has to review. They could deny you your certification, even if you passed, based on your scores here. So, you have to wait about, they say, three to ten days to get your official score. It took about 18 hours, and I got back my that I officially passed. Um, so I hope this helps a little. Um, if you have any additional questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll respond as quickly as I can. But I hope this gives you some insight of how the exam went. Uh, thanks for watching.